So let's go ahead and let's jump into it first. We have our simple script here where we say foo equals one, bar equals two, and then we echo foo equals dollar foo, dollar bar, dollar baz. Uh-oh, we never defined that. What's gonna happen with bash? Well, it's fine. Bash just expands that to nothing and it works. It works just the same, it works successfully. That's awesome. What about if we set minus u? I should have had that there. If we set minus u and we run the exact same script, what happens now? Look at that. This is super nice error message. I have to say, I actually really like this. Line 10, baz, unbound variable, and then it dies. The script dies. That's actually really cool. We tried to take a variable that wasn't set, so if you had a typo or something, this would catch that. That's super useful. Are there ways to break this? <laughs> Absolutely there are. Let's talk about this. So let's look at this example. We set minus u, so we turn this option on. We declare an empty array, and then we loop over all the items in the array, and we print them, and then we echo done. Remember, it's an empty array, so there should be no items in it, so it should just print done. That's awesome. This was successful. This works how we expected it to. We are on Bash version 5.3.3. What if we weren't? What if we were on an old version of Bash? What if we were on the one that shipped with my Mac, 3.2.57, and we were to run this script? What would happen? Well, we get an unbound variable. You get unbound variables with unset or empty arrays. There's some weirdness around this and it changes between like version 4.2 and 4.3. So as you can see, this one breaks, but it breaks on very old versions of Bash. Going forward, it's probably safer to use. The reason I would say I would stay away from it is because I don't know what version of Bash people are gonna be running this on. I will say though, if you want this functionality yourself, like look at this first example right here. If you wanna just during development test, bash minus u, all those options can be passed here, this, and then you get that behavior. So during development work, I would say use something like this. In fact, I'm going to start putting it into my workflow. You could also use shell check. I love shell check. It's really great. I should talk about it more on this channel. I kind of fight it sometimes. It doesn't like the way I use keywords. Um, <laughs> I swear I didn't plan this because I echoed done without quotes around it. It's yelling at me. <laughs> because it knows that done is a bash keyword. It's telling me to put quotes around it. It's not super dumb. I'm not complaining about shell check, but it's really funny. The times I end up fighting it are times like this. I truly, I promise you, I did not plan this. This was totally organic. That's really fun. But look at this. Hey, this is a really nice message. 